Okay guys, we have 3.5, 3.4, 3.6. There it gusted up to 5.5, so we've got some good wind. That's meters per second. So, I don't know, we'll call it four meters per second. We're gonna see how this is, it's the first time. Happy New Year, Happy we have New wind. <laughs> we took Harmony out. My stupid RC battery isn't very good. <laughs> I need to order a new one off of Amazon, I keep forgetting. Of course, now that we open Harmony, now we're dropped down to <laughs> two meters per second wind. Yeah, it figures. Oh, there she goes. Ooh. We were only halfway unfurled at that point. Yay! That's so exciting. Look at it. I don't want to forget about this cage blowing over it. Okay, we're fully unfurled right now. And what's our wind? 2.5, 2.6, 2.1. Meters per second? Meters per second, yeah. I'm not gonna do miles per hour, it's all meters per second. She's beautiful. Sorry, it's beautiful. <laughs> You're gonna get fast too. I know. Everyone's like, it's not a female. But I'm a female, so it's okay for it to be a female. Your compatriots. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold out. It is a little bit. All right. Nippy. I don't have an RPM meter on this. I don't even have the generator ready. But my theory is, as we close up a little bit, there's a calculation of the circumference of a circle in wind speed and how long it takes that to go around. So my theory is that there's a sweet spot in there for every miles per or meter per second of wind speed, you'll probably find the optimal amount that Harmony needs to be open to properly capture that wind. What did you do? I was just grabbing onto it to see how, how hard it was to stop because I don't have any other way to really gauge anything but we're in very very low wind speeds we're in like you know the minimum amount of wind you'd even want to think about a wind turbine even turning they don't really start generating until we're up into the good you know six seven ten meter per second wind this is really bare minimum wind make sure I don't get run over so it's such a gentle breeze. You can see our flag blowing there on the porch. It's just a nice, gentle yeah, four breeze. Yeah, meter per second wind. 4.3, 3.4, 3.2. And then it keeps dropping off. We don't have very good wind in this area. There are a few leaves in the air. So this way it's coming from this. Or grass. Or pick up some uh, all right, sorry folks. I have to wait for it to blow again. Way, straight this way. Yeah. So we're blowing back towards the corner of the house. 4.0, 3.6, 3.4, So we're not very strong as far as wind. a new battery for Christmas. <laughs> Alright, we're fully open. 2.3, 2.7, 3 3.4. Yeah, not the greatest wind. <laughs> She's but going, it's, or it's going though. It's a good test. Yeah, I feel like the wind is dying as we're out here, of course. It always happens that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell. It's just 
just such poor wind. But it's going. Yeah. I wouldn't think a wind like this would generate more than, you know, 50 watts of power or something. It's, it's very, very minimal. If that 30 or 40 watts of power, it's just pretty, pretty low. Point one, three point two. Here you can come over here so they know I'm not lying. Two point five, two point two, two point one meter per second. There we gusted up to three. Not very good wind, but with um, my particular generator that I haven't had any time to to even work on because I've been finishing the turbine blades, um, it'll be able to start up without any resistance. So you're not going to generate any power at a wind speed like this, but um, it'll definitely be able to start up. I would think, you know, for any wind turbine, I don't care whether it's a horizontal or a vertical, any wind turbine, you really need to be in the um, probably you know, seven meter per second range before you really even think about trying to generate any power. And at seven meter per second, you're probably looking at very, very minimal amounts of power that you could generate with something small. A residential sized turbine is just not going to produce what a big massive one will. But at any rate, Harmony is turning and it is for that low of wind speed, it's it starts up no problem. Yeah, it's it's not even going to be able to to really produce any power at a, a range that low. But no wind turbine would. That's okay. We weren't out here to see how much it produced. We were out here to see how it did starting up. Now, now the wind totally died. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like totally gone. Come here, Odo. Don't get so close to the road. Come here, sweetie. Yeah, of course the wind died. I wanted to see. There I'm probably 90% open. But the wind died now. <laughs> Sorry guys, Pennsylvania sucks for wind production. Yeah, you've got the most revolutionary wind turbine out here in, in a place where there's no wind. My wife's saying, no, don't talk about that. Maybe it is the most revolutionary design. Oh, I don't doubt it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> don't put the antenna down. Old RC equipment. So I can't talk about how it could be revolutionary? You can talk about that, just not how Pennsylvania sucks. The Pennsylvania wind conditions oh. is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, Pennsylvania is not very good for a wind producing state. But when we do get good wind, I plan on capturing it. Now we're generating some RPMs. I would guess that would produce, you know, 30 or 40 watts of power at that RPM range and the torque that I'm feeling, but I don't know. You know, I'm not going to speculate. I'll take a wild guess from playing with generators in the basement, but um, until we get it hooked up, I won't know for sure. And in good wind, I would really want to have this test cage tied down in each of the three corners. You got a good gust here. Probably have good you should close it up a little bit and see. see if it Stop goes blabbing and start furling. Yeah, it's too bad I don't have an RPM meter. What's There's going to be 
be a point where you furl up too much, and I think I might have passed it. What's the wind speed now? I don't oh, it's know. dying I don't have down. Hands. Oh, you should have given that to me. You come over and grab it. I'm gonna open back up. I'm gonna get knocked in the head here by the antenna or the blade. Okay, sorry, folks. It's uh, four. That's oh, three point eight. Pretty much fully opened right now. Now it died down again. So yeah, I think we're looking at. You know, your maximum RPM would be somewhere in the 80 to 90% open range. Now the wind totally died. <laughs> totally died. It gusted for like 40 seconds there. <laughs> but at any rate, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video. Happy New Year. This is Dece or I mean January 1st, 2020. And we had a little bit of wind, so I finally came out here. Yeah, there we go. We're about um, probably 92% opened right now. We're at about high twos, almost three meters per second. Show them so they know you're not lying. About 3.8. Yeah, it's not the best, but it gets exciting. I can't imagine what Harmony would be doing in a wind tunnel at a constant 10 meter per second mm -hmm. wind or something, it would be, I don't even, that's what I'm so excited to find out how many watts it's able to produce. Right. For a wind turbine this size to be able to produce in that kind of wind, you know, a good strong 10 meter per second wind. So we'll see. This is just the beginning of the new year and a lot of cool testing to come. So I won't keep this video any longer, but, um, at this point, remember, if you want to support me, I do have a Patreon page. It is patreon.com slash creating more. I'll put a link in the description of this video. Uh, is there anything I'm forgetting? I always forget stuff. I don't think so. <laughs> happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays from creating more and the Harmony Vertical Axis Wind Turbines. Maybe we can uh, get some funding here in 2020 and... Start yeah. some exciting stuff. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Kickstarter, right? Everyone's like, do a Kickstarter. <laughs> but you guys, you guys have to help me take this viral. You know, there's something I should always say. I don't know how these other YouTube famous people do it and they're all viral and stuff. Maybe no one wants to watch a wind turbine spinning. But I'll tell you, this kind of stuff is exciting to me because it's where our future needs to be. It's where our, our heads and minds need to be protecting our environment and creating clean energy. So we need to think outside of the box with solutions like this. And um, if you guys can do anything to help, that would be share this video, share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. I'm not a Twitter bot. I'm not a Facebook maniac. So help me out there. And that would be awesome. All right, guys, take care.